Hi, everybody. I'm Matt. I'm David. And here's Peter Parker. Still beating himself up inside, trying to figure out if he's a dad or not. I we mean, may... it's a good question. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, you know, he deserves an answer. What are these? Gadget challenge? No. I'll just swing around and do some crimes. For like the five seconds until somebody calls you. Yeah. But yeah, definitely leading towards the she doesn't actually have a son at this point. So am I. Especially I feel like for, she's manipulating him. Especially for there to be a vault. Like, I don't see anybody Come locking on. a kid up in a vault. A syndicate of crime. Symbols of a bygone era. Don Fortunato. All right, Darren DePaul. Don Cicero. Don I mean, Machio. Clearly the era isn't quite gone. And of course, well, let's go to the Avengers Tower. Criminals... But ones who follow a code. Better than most, right? Wrong! They toss their code out the window the second it's inconvenient. Because a criminal is a criminal. And they are by definition cowards, lowlifes, and scum. I brought down the Magia virtually single-handed in the 80s and early 90s. And let me tell you right now, I stand ready to do it again. Do I am them? not afraid of them. Not one bit. You want me? Come and get me. That's all the time we have. There I go, start the car. No, I'm the boss, and I say you do it. Oh, stop crying. Wow, well, Jameson. I was just waiting for like somebody to come kicking the door down. You want me? Come get up. No, I was. <laughs> well, that's the funny thing is, you know, he's like, I'm not afraid of them. Hey, go start the car for me, you know. Yeah. It was all an act for the show. I'm not actually okay. terrified. Oh. oh, thank you. Perfect timing, MJ. I wasn't just swinging around the city waiting for you to call. <laughs> Crypted that laptop. <laughs> you know that room-sized vault you were talking about? Yeah. I found a record of it being delivered to a shipyard near Hell's Kitchen. Hell's That's gotta Kitchen. Be where the boy is. Ow. Thanks, MJ. Ooh. Better call Felicia. At this hour, it's either a booty call or you found something. Well, I am in my underwear. Your son. I'm sending you an address. No, you literally, know. I am in my underwear. Figured we'd switch it up for this episode a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some answers on our underwear. They'll tell him just to get him to put his clothes She'll back on. She'll see our fine physique and finally tell us if we're the daddy or not. I can sense no holes in this plan. Other than the hole in my underwear. It's the wiener hole. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I, like, I knew. I was just going to let it. I was just going to let it go to an awkward silence. But. <laughs> Good times, David. <laughs> Good times. Uh. Ah! Wait for it. Y'all got this right. I'm not wearing pants. I like that they they <laughs> added a barefoot running sound. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's a nice little touch. All right, we'll actually put on a real suit. <laughs> yeah, it was funny though. I just like the, like he swung all the way over here and then realized like oh shit. <laughs> Uh, which one was that? That was the... No. I totally forgot to put pants on. My bad. The anti-ox suit. We'll use the suit from the end of the game. Now that there's probably, like, pictures all over the internet of Spider-Man swinging around the city in his underwear. Spider-Man. No, let's, let's use a Far From Home suit, yeah? Seem like a good plan? Yeah, sure. Because if we don't find out if he's our son or not this episode, we're out of here. Not, not really. We have nowhere to go. Literally, mm. the only person who talks to us lives here. That's true. <laughs> and Eddie's Pizza. I know. Definitely can't leave Eddie's Pizza. Where else are we going to get that type of delivery service? You think he has, like... You think he gives Peter pizza for free, or does he have, like, Spider-Man's PayPal? Probably for free, considering Spider-Man doesn't have a job. 
True. MJ nailed it. This place is isolated. They could keep the kid here for weeks without anyone noticing. Or are you blackmailing them? This is the place. I know it. If they spot us, it's over. We need to take them all out. Like we used to. Yeah, that's definitely just Quiet the face of somebody cat. enjoying every Sneaky moment of this. Spider. Not someone worried for the safety of a son. Us, they might kill your son. We have to do this quietly. Uh, this one of those you can. Oh, suppress it. I'm our it's a black hat takedown. So this one of those you have to legitimately actually. Uh, <laughs> Word just came down from the boss. Be stealthy. Anything that moves. Spider-Man, the cat, pigeon. Anything? Yeah, definitely those pigeons. Fuck those guys. Always stealing art and shit. Oh, she takes them down. I can't take them down. Oh, there we go. A lot of guys guarding this place. This won't be easy. Maybe we can attach them to the side of the building. I like that. You know, they literally warn people to keep an eye out and shoot anything that looks like Spider-Man, Black Cat, pigeons. But they're all pointed at the ground. She's really hitting on us. Yep. Oh god. Oh god, you almost got your son killed. Well, he almost walked off. He was too distracted by her, uh... Flirting? Yeah. He was like, yeah, I am good at- Oh, 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 god. Keep, keep your head in the game, Peter. Alright, how many more are there? Quite a few. But I need to get that guy. Uh, well, I meant for you to take out that guy. That also works, I guess. Good one. Let's keep it going. Look, good guy. That's still a lot. <laughs> so many dudes. Wow, why is there gotta be so many? I might be able to split them up. All right, so we've got these guys here. All of those dudes. Yeah. Let's go after those two dudes over there. Yeah, it's like at least got a couple guys going off on their own. Oh, I think you accidentally dropped a... <laughs> Damn. Why are there so many of y'all? Oh, wow, so many dudes. It's like y'all are guarding something important or something. Wow. Yeah, they're making you have to really work for this. Nighty night. Well done. Looks like about nine guys left. One per life. Let's not mess this up. All right, is that guy safe? Do okay. it. Ten if you include my life. Somebody. Still using that technique? So, so much you can do with web, okay? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Get to a good vantage point. So don't take him out. Yeah. How about that guy? How about what guy? Like everybody's kinda of looking at each other. Oh crap. Oh god. Oh no. I I thought it was the web shooter and as I shot it I saw it wasn't the right item. Yeah. It happens. Ugh. At least they didn't pop up with text like your son's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you killed your child. <laughs> Is Peter Now it's on web shooters. Not anymore. But at least it's it started us here. Yeah, you had eleven enemies left instead of nine. So that's not the worst. Who's looking at him? 
think it's one of those guys to the left. How about that guy? What was that? Yeah, because I think the other guy is also yeah coming so back around. That technique? Oh no! Take him out, cat! I know. Take them out before they start shouting. That's what we gotta do! Y'all are so much more effective at this in cutscenes. Ugh. Alright. Let's swing around a little bit. Yeah. What about that guy? Nope. Probably just like, there's that brief moment where they're safe and then they walk right next to somebody else. And... What about this guy? How about that guy? Not yet. Damn it. Stop crossing paths. Are you showing off for me? A little bit. Do you like my posturing? <laughs> Split those guys up. I'm, that's what I'm doing. I can't help okay. if he walks really Looks slow. Like about nine guys left. So get out of here. Get out of here. Let's not mess this up. Okay, well, that guy's... Ooh, good thing nobody saw his body zooming around. This guy? Well, it's a good thing them just knowing that you're around isn't enough for them to kill your son. Nighty night. Good job. Uh... Somebody give me a hand. All right, you got six left. Make sure I change my gadgets back. Can y'all just like not be all together? What the? Yeah, better investigate. Really? I see y'all just not pay attention to your uh, guy that walked away. Going in. Just a few left. Ooh, man, they split up like perfectly. Three off. All right, three more. I was a little worried when I did that. Yeah, I was like, you were really, really leaving yourself open, but thankfully I think everybody else is, uh... Oh, there's one. Where's the other two? Two of them and two of us. Oh, so those are the only two left. I literally didn't see that coming. I just killed a man. <laughs> I crushed him with a crate. No, you gave him extended stays in a hospital. Oh, a vacation. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of Lots therapy. Of places to hide a vault around here. You check the shipping and containers while debt. I check in that building over there. Yeah, <laughs> crippling Felicia. debt. What? I'm sorry Hammerhead did this to you. Yeah, well, he's about to find out. You mess with the cat, you get the claws. Oh, I, you didn't say nothing about claws. Should check out those shipping containers. Which ones? Maybe the ones that are conveniently marked yellow on the map. Ah. Oliver. This Good, is, sir. This is a very important situation we're in. Trying to find out if we have a son or not. Check out. We need to know if we have a son first, if we can ask if they like cats. So wait, so what am I doing with this container? I guess just ripping open the front. Uh, just a bunch of boxes. Better keep looking. How do you know? You literally only looked at the front row. Could Pianos. be more behind it. That's random. But no kid. Building supplies. And no kid. Better keep looking. Guns? Sable International. What is this stuff? Well, that's definitely not a kid. Whoa. Definitely not a kid. Hammerhead's got sable weapons. I wonder what else he has. Money. All the money. And a really and a sable tank. Wow. Felicia. That answers that question. You want to come help fight a bunch of guys Shoot again? Him. Shoot him! 
Oh shit. Yeah, I was like... Okay, where did y'all come from? I have a knack of just driving up in one vehicle and all swarming. Oh god. Y'all got the big guys. Please tell me you didn't just leave us here to die. Yeah, she definitely got what she wanted. Ow. Ah! Alicia. There was a lot stronger guys after ah, the guys ah, we took out. No. Don't do that. Oliver was trying to pull the PlayStation off the shelf, you guys. Not a good time for anybody. No. Take this blue shirt, man. Oh god, not more y'all. We should get out of here. Oh god. Hey, I really hope my son wasn't in there. APCs, rocket launchers, miniguns? What did you guys not steal from Sable? Sable? I mean, maybe they stole the company itself. Damn. Gotta clear these guys out and find Felicia. This is... I really hate the chain guns. Yeah. I get the... Attempting to escalate the enemies. Are you sure you know how to use those weapons? Okay, looks like you do. It's it's a bit much. Yeah. And they're kind of like impossible to melee. On top of the damage they deal. The amount of gadgets you have to use to take them down. <laughs> like the big guys are a pain without the mini guns. I know, right? They didn't need to give them guns. Heck, the rockets are bad enough. Of course. Fuck off. Oh, I hate those minigun guys. Yeah. Felicia, you better definitely be telling us the truth now after we're going through all this. Turns out you've been using us APCs, just to get what you want. Launchers, mini guns? What did you guys not steal from Sable? Peter, get the fucking thing off the thing. No. Need one less thing shooting at you. There we go. Damn. Gotta clear these guys out and find Felicia. The old reliable just kind of slows them down for like a second. Yeah, and if they stop changing the camera angle on me, because like I'm trying to come over here and get the rocket launcher guy, but then it changes the camera angle. I couldn't do anything. Like, it slowed down to show me I was gonna die, <laughs> yeah. but didn't give me the chance to, like... Yeah, as soon as the slowdown was over, it's just, oh, well, you did. APCs, rocket launchers, miniguns? What did you guys not steal from Sable? Welcome to the air show. Damn, gotta clear these guys out and find Felicia. Oh my god, fuck off! Are you guys sure you know how to use those weapons? Uh, yeah, we found that spot of the game. <laughs> it figures. <sighs> we're getting close to the end, so of course they gotta. Yeah, we're what? 74% done? Bust out the most annoying possible encounters. Go after the guy with the rocket launcher that I told you to attack to steal the rocket launcher off of him. 
The problem is there's too many people in a small area. Yeah. Are you guys sure you know how to use those weapons? Okay, looks like you do. Really? Good job, Peter. Really? Can you look at the minigun guys? Yeah, and I don't like yeah. that because I'm trying to deal with the minigun guys after. Yeah. I'll break you, little man. It's like, I get it, they're the big threat, but it's also really difficult to take them out while you're surrounded on all sides by, uh... <sighs> Getting mad. I don't like it. This DLC was fun until this moment. Especially because I start and my health immediately drops. Because I try to dodge the fucking bullets. And I can't dodge all of the bullets. I'm literally dead. Like... Uh, this is bullshit. APCs, rocket launchers, miniguns? Yeah. What did you guys not steal from Sable? It's one of those moments where they go a little overboard on the uh, combat. Yeah, latch onto it, Peter. Gotta clear these guys out. Dumbass. Weapons? Okay, looks like you do. More of the, uh, more of the little bit of puzzle and detective stuff would have been a lot more fun than yeah. just a whole bunch of fighting. <laughs> yeah. Like, I dodged. Why am I getting hurt? Like, he's sp it's specifically having me dodge the bullets. Time, Oliver. Oliver, now is not the time. Go. Get in your bed. Seriously? <sighs> Finally. And that's it. Gonna be sore so like Six tries is okay. bullshit. Time Ooh. to find Felicia. So we can probably do it she all over again. She was heading into that building. Felicia? The vault. Oh, is she just doing Felicia. this for sable weapons and now she's out? Yeah. Definitely, uh. Definitely just got played, oh, no, Peter. No, you gotta be kidding me! Really got Tell played. Tell me you weren't just stringing me along! Sorry, sweetie. But I needed help to pull off a job this big. All you ever wanted was Hammerhead's drive. The entire wealth of the Magia. In the palm of my hand. You gave Hammerhead fake drives? You think he's gonna be mad at me? Maybe, maybe a little so, bit. Like as mad at I am as the combat. Your, your son? That was all just a lie? Lie is such an ugly word. It's the, it's the truth, I though. I prefer misdirection. The lie is the truth. It's like, no, Do the right, right thing. Take the drives to the police. Hey, I earned these. Besides, Did you? I fought a, a lot of guys. Nothing is gonna stop him. If anything, I just helped slow him down a bit. Cleaned out the whole yard! Check the fault! Time to go. I'll raise a glass to you on the Riviera. Felicia! 
Well, we're totally never having kids in the future. Hey guys. Well, it's good to know that we don't actually have a kid. Yeah. This is awkward, but uh. Ha -ha. And? Uh, drive's gone. Uh, new plan. There's a tracker on that drive. Find her and kill her. And if she's dumb enough to go to a little penthouse, I've got a crew waiting there to send it sky high. Hey, sounds like we're gonna have to fight what that crew. I don't care about the drives. I just want her dead. Got it. We'll find her. If there's a tracker on that drive, good thing I could overhear trouble. that phone call. <coughs> Gotta get to her fast. Is there coughing? Uh, I was gonna say, I think it's just one of the guys you knocked out. Alright. Alright, that was fun. Let's go for the damage look, because we're fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That we are. No, we'll go with this. Alright, let's go. Miss me already? Hammerhead knows where you are, and he's going to kill you. There's a tracker on his drive. I don't get you, Spider. I just calmed the hell out of you, and here you are trying to save me. How can you be so damn nice all the time? Because I'm a good it's man. Not being nice. It's about doing the right thing. You've got so many talents. I wish you'd use them to help someone other than yourself. Yeah, like you your fake now, son. That's not how I roll. People can change, Felicia. Love you, Spider. I'll miss you. Wait, your penthouse. He's rigged it to explode. Don't worry. I've still got all nine lives left. I don't damn think it. That's how that works. Hang on, Felicia. I mean, to be honest, I think she could probably handle herself here. Yeah, she's shown herself to be highly capable. And in many situations, more capable than us. Yeah. We got this! We're almost there, Felicia. Don't blow up in a dramatic cutscene as soon as I arrive. I know. Felicia! We told you not to blow up in a dramatic cutscene. She as we arrived. knew she was gonna blow up in the dramatic cutscene. She knew. I know. She smiled. Hey, it's Hammerhead. She's about to do like her dad and make it seem like she died. Now we're gonna be all set. Oh, to be continued. That's the end of the. That's the end of it. Wow. So that. That was... last twenty-five percent was. Uh... That one combat encounter. <laughs> all right. How 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 much more do we have? And I guess we should just take a jump cut and start the next one. I guess so. I was not quite expecting it to end like that. Me either. All right. Well, I'll sit through the credits, I guess. Or I don't know. I I Matt. No, these can't be. These wouldn't be the same credits as the original game. So we'll sit through. Yeah. Reflect on the fact we are not a father. Oh yeah. At least we're not a dad. Mary Jane will be happy. Yep. Mary Jane will be very happy. Guess what? Totally not a dad. Um, but my ex-girlfriend did blow up, just so you know. I also fell for every lie she fed me and gave her exactly what she wanted. And then she blew up, which I think is also what she wanted. Yep. Chances are she's somewhere stealing something right now as we speak. Alright, well, everybody, that was a fun DLC. That was a fun DLC. I like that DLC. Yeah, it was pretty good. Outside of just... Outside of that final combat, which, now knowing it was the final combat makes more sense. Yeah. But still, it was... It, well, that's what this, I... this game series has shown us the ability, so far, of its amazing boss battles and set pieces. And to give us that... It just, it, it, it bothers me. Yeah, it wasn't exactly the, uh... But, yeah. All right, all of you did really good work. Good job, Dan, Dave, Doc, Thomas, Matt, Al, 
Ryan, Evan, Dahlia. There we go. There's a girl. It's like I was reading those names. I was like, this is very male heavy. But yeah. But there we go. Jen. I see you, Jen. Don't think we don't. Jerain. Blake. Dale. David. Scott. Adalbert. Gretchen. Adele. Hello. Giovanni. Ozzy. Other Brian. Shane. Ross. Trey. Hi, Trey. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that... Like, I wasn't expecting that to be the ending. Yeah, just sudden, just... Boom. There you go. Well, especially because we had 74% left. Well, I had a feeling it was probably the last mission. I thought there would be one more. Honestly, I thought, th mm. I thought there was going to be one more mission. But... Yeah, I just did not think it was just going to be like, okay, that's the combat, now dramatically, oh, she's blown up. <laughs> yeah. But, and I guess it is DLC, so. Well, it's a three-part DLC. Yeah, it was their way of keeping you, uh, keeping you ready for the next batch. Yeah. Because it is, it is a three-part DLC. Chapter three, or chapter two, excuse me, is known as Turf Wars. Just imagine if they hadn't have, like, showed her, like, betray you in this. She and, just blew up. Or not even that, just, like, the whole, like, you've waiting for the second DLC. Like, does he have a son or not? Well, luckily, they were only, like, a month apart for each mm. one, or, like, a month and a half apart. Because the game came out, and then, like, a month and a half later, the second DLC, or the first DLC came out. And the first DLC came out in, like, September. And the third part was out by December. Hey. So not that bad. No, no, no. It was yeah, very quick. It definitely just would have been one of those, like, I need to know, is, is Parker a dad? Yeah, they did a very bam, bam, bam DLC release, which is good. Yeah. You know, I'm... I'm One of the games we got to jump to soon is Doom Eternal, because their first DLC, which I think is a story DLC, is coming out soon. And, speaking of Doom Eternal, because I was looking it up, the guy who voices Hammerhead is a marauder in Doom Eternal. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yep. It's the voice of the Marauder. He's also Hunk in Resident Evil. <laughs> He's Hunk! Nice. Few Persona 5 roles. Uh, so this is a picture that's a chicken salad sandwich. It's just chicken salad and an ice cream cone. I saw another picture very similar to this that called it tuna because it was like, man, I love a good cold scoop of tuna salad on a day like this. Because it's just one of those things like mess you up. Like, have you have you heard of the um, the Facebook page that's like beans where beans shouldn't be? I believe so. And they just put like, like baked beans in places. Like they fill your shoes and stuff. Baked beans. Because, you know, internet in wrong places. I'm looking. In unusual places? Yes, pictures of baked beans where they shouldn't be. I, I believe that's it. Yep. It's like there's baked beans in a Starbucks coffee cup. Uh, there's baked beans in a magazine of a, a gun. Oh, oh, baked beans and a Boston cream donut. Why would they do that? Here's a baked beans popsicle. Mm. Uh, baked beans toothpaste. I do not like this. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. It really makes you uncomfortable to see like, like where all the baked beans are. I mean, baked beans in a wallet. It doesn't help that I just don't like baked beans, but... Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. To see them in... Baked beans in a CD tray for a laptop. <laughs> baked beans in an envelope. Baked bean shower. Oh, Here's God. baked beans in a clock. <laughs> Just imagine being the one doing that. Like... Oh, there's a couple of communities. So there's pictures of baked beans in places they shouldn't be. 
There's thing, oh, of things full of beans. <laughs> of course, there's beans in uncomfortable places. Of course, there's multiple pages dedicated to this. Uh, we didn't need just one. <laughs> Someone to do an ultrasound and the baby's just a bunch of baked beans. See, I'll, I'll, that one's pretty good. I'll give that one. Baked beans filling a metro. Somebody feeding baked beans to a Venus flytrap. Some two astronauts and they're on the moon. One of them looks up at the at the at the Earth and it says, "Wait, it's all beans." And the other astronaut says, "Always has been." As he points a gun to the one who just found out. Uh, beans are the worst. Yeah. And these pages are not helping. Beans are the worst. Really not helping. I hate beans. Alright, maybe like... Maybe leave this page behind and... Uh, beans in a paint roller? <laughs> maybe maybe stop looking at more pictures and videos and... Oh, God. Oh, no! Beans in an ice cream and... Oh, no. Oh. Ruined, it's ruined it. It's ruined it, everybody. Beans are the worst. I'm surprised that this that the credits are still going here. Um, I don't want to skip them because we have a habit, you know, we have a tradition we got to keep going. Mm. But I also kind of want to jump to the next DLC. Well, we're getting to the we would like to thank uh, each individual. <laughs> well, the, pro the problem is we, we're going to have to pause the recording and download the next DLC. Yeah. Because I own them. I just haven't downloaded them because I didn't realize you could choose your campaign. Yeah, now that we know. I guess we should have looked that up first. But it's fair. Yeah, you live you know, and you learn. A lot of games, they do just immediately throw it all at you. Truth. True. Which is nice, but it's also annoying at times. Especially like if you don't play the game when it first comes out. And you're like playing it after the DLC comes out. And it's like, here's the DLC missions as well. That what? You just no! That we're just randomly giving you for no reason. Yeah, it's mostly just because they think, like, every single... Uh... I mean, and they should. Yeah. They should. And you know, I mean... people worked on this. They worked hard on it. And it's, it shows off. My gripes on this Spider-Man franchise they've started is not... There are few and far between. Yeah. It's a very good game. Is it supposed to rain in the meat? It it's a away. very good series. Nah. Cool. Kind of had enough rain this past week. <sighs> <sighs> Technical score advisors, Anthony Loomis, Haley Rosenthal. We see you guys. Lead orchestrator, Tim Davies. I mean, we don't literally see you, but we see you. Uh, orchestra and London voice contractor, Isabel Griffiths. I see you. Jason Swan. Justin Fields. Vanessa Samora. Carrie Ryan. What are you guys' opinion on beans? <laughs> are you pro bean? Or do you like your beans in normal places? Right, scratch that. Do you like beans? I hate beans. And if so, you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, so this is something Rebecca and I were talking about the other day is like picky food it's like because I'm not that picky like I'll eat a lot of stuff but the things I don't eat I don't eat mm. so like really when it boils down to it the things I don't like I don't like beans and I don't like peas like I'll eat practically anything else but beans and peas I don't like but I will not eat beans and peas like I don't love potatoes but I'll eat them hmm and, and stuff like that but like I do not eat beans and I do not eat peas it's funny because I'm the exact opposite I'll eat peas but I will not eat green beans see I'm not crazy about green beans but if somebody made it I'm not gonna like shove my nose at it but if somebody made me peas I hate them I just I can't you know if they're in a stew or like if they're in my stir fry I'll eat them because you can't really taste them when they're that far and few between like, it's a pea, but, like, I will never eat just peas. 
Like, I, I'll never make myself a bowl of peas. I'll never be like, let's make stew with a shit ton of peas. Oh, I mean, I would never just make a bowl of peas either. <laughs> People do it. Yeah. They love peas. No, there's definitely got to be something else with the peas that is the primary thing I'm eating, and there just happens to be peas on the side. No, I'm not a peas guy. I don't like them. Same with beans. Like, people always ask me, oh, do you like Chipotle? I hate Chipotle. You know why I hate Chipotle? They sell black beans. Black beans are probably my most hated food. The minute I smell black beans, my appetite goes away. Mm -hmm. So, like, I could go to Chipotle so hungry, and the minute I get to the register and I smell the black beans, I don't want food. And I've done that before. I've gone with friends, and they're like, let's get lunch. They're like, cool. We go, and I'm like, I, I'm not hungry anymore. I don't know. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, like like other foods, they don't make me lose my appetite. But black beans, for some reason, it has that effect on me. Is the minute I smell black beans, I don't want to eat. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I don't. And it's weird because I'm Mexican, and a lot of his not Mexican foods exclusively, like a lot of Hispanic foods, especially like South American food, has black beans in it yeah it's a very uh... it's a very common bean not for me no yeah not a fan not a fan at all hmm. back to these credits playing i know i was gonna say kind of took the bean from... talk as far as we could take it flowing forth from all over his back but then he moves out the way so what is this food time so i'd probably feed him here in a sec once we get to the end of these credits. Alive! Performed by Wordly Jet. <laughs> I mean, hell, these credits take long enough. This is just going to be the end of the episode. Yeah. We're already at 40 minutes. It's been like six minutes of credits. One of the reasons why our final episodes always seem to be so long. It is, because we finish and then there's 10 minutes of credits. But we've done it for one episode. Like, we've done it for one game. Yeah. We've got to do it for every game. Yeah, it's fair. It's just, it's definitely that reminder of every time of just how long modern credits are nowadays. Especially because just all of the localizations, they put them in every single yeah. version. You know? Because if the language is available in the game, they gotta put it. Yep. And I understand, I get it. Okay, so this is the interesting thing. Is they're including the, the voices of people who were not in this DLC. So why do I feel like we're watching the original Spider-Man credits? Because we very well could be. And we would never know because. <laughs> mm. So, so here's the thing. You you told me you finished Kingdom. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. We got time to kill, and this is a it's content. Tell me about this show, Kingdom, on Netflix. All right. I mean, uh, you don't gotta spoil it. Just yeah. Elevator pitch. So. Uh, general idea is that it takes place in Korea in the 1500s. Right, okay. Right after our good old friend Hideyoshi invaded. Oh, okay. Um, but after they kind of repel the uh, invasions. Um, so there's kind of... The main thing, because it won't spoil too much, because obviously the way it actually plays out is interesting, because it's done pretty differently. Uh... It's, you know, 1500s Korea, but it's also got this zombie element to it. Right. So just right off the bat, you find out that the emperor is dead. Okay. Like, um, dead dead or zombie dead? Both. Oh, shit. Um, because his uh, wife is essentially... His wife and her dad, who kind of want to hold all the power essentially brought him back to life as a zombie <laughs> and are lying to everybody pretending like the emperor is still alive and well well all right and meanwhile his son who's the crown prince is trying to get answers and figure out what the hell's going on and things just spiral from there all right and like i said once you once things really uh, get going they uh they get intense <laughs> Well, so I've been meaning to watch... There's two shows I really want to watch on Netflix, but I, I got the books to read them before I watch the shows. Although one of them I might just go ahead and watch while I read the book of the other. Um, there's Altered Carbon, and there's The Haunting of Hill House. I haven't gotten to watch either yet. Hmm. I might skip reading Altered Carbon and just watch the show. 
um, because I found out that there's only three books and they very much deviate from it. And I'm like, okay, I could read the book a different time and still enjoy the yeah. show and vice versa. The Haunting of Hill House I really want to read because it's written by Shirley Jackson who wrote The Lottery. Do you remember that short story? It's like the peaceful community. So spoilers on this short story from the 50s. <laughs> um, it's like this, this quaint Leave it to Beaver type town, but a little bit more... They always portrayed it as a little bit more um, 1800s Puritan-y. Hmm. I mean, not Puritan, but, you know, 1800s religious town. Yeah. Because um, Puritans is further back. Uh, you know, but it's like this Leave it to Beaver type. Everything's good. Everything's happy. And there's a lot of foreshadowing in it. Shirley Jackson was a very good writer. And at least for that short story, I haven't really read a lot of her own. Wow, the music got dramatic right I know, there. right? Um, but people like collecting a bunch, like kids are playing and they're coll- playing with rocks and collecting rocks. And it's just, it seems like everything. And there's supposed to be like a town meeting at the end of the day. And everybody shows up to the meeting and they all grab a ball out of this lottery basket. And the, the main lady grabs this ball with a black spot on it, which indicates that she, she starts freaking out. She's, she's freaking out and they corral her into this one area and everybody has a rock. And they stone her to death because she 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 quote unquote won the lottery, and they do it every year. So it's like it's very similar. It's that you know dystopian, like utopian dystopian yeah. uh, thing that was very common in the mid fifties. You know, with uh, like in the mid twentieth century, with like Shirley Jackson's The Lottery and the ones who walk away from Amelas and things like that. But it. It was a very freaky book, or a short story, and she wrote that, and that was one of her big ones. But Haunting of Hill House is apparently very big, too, and it takes place in the 50s, or it was published in the 50s. I think it takes place a little earlier. Hmm. But, yeah, it's about, like, a bunch of, like, these four investigators who go to this house to investigate it. And so it serves as the inspiration for the show, because the show surrounds a family. So I'm very curious to see how the show and the book are different, but... I liked the lottery enough that I kind of want to read Hill House before I read or before I watch the show, especially because Hill House is like 300, not even 300 pages, but Altered Carbon I've read like 50 pages of so far. It's pretty good and I'm, I, I can tell I will enjoy reading it, but I've read so many things online saying that the book and the show very much deviate. Yeah. Like general plot points, at least of the first book are the same. But I don't know how much the show's actually following. Because he only did three books. And it looks like they're really trying to make this a show, like a franchise. I don't know about Kingdom, but I saw that it's based on the uh, webcomic. Really? A webcomic? Kingdom of the Gods. Huh. I also finally watched uh, one movie we were interested way back when it came out. Oh, Shadow? Uh, yep. How was it? It's good. Is it? Yeah. It's, oh, uh, I still gotta watch it. It's interesting, because it's like a different take of the Three Kingdoms period. Right. Uh, but they definitely changed like, all the names and kind of the general... Like It's basically... Uh, the general idea is kind of it's during the period like after Wu and Shu kind of... Fall? No, like after they push back way. Ah, uh, uh. And there's that period where, like, Guan Yu's in the center controlling territory that was always Wu, but nobody could stop him to take it back, so it was just constantly under Shu's control. And that's what ultimately calls them to uh, side with Wei to, like, betray Shu and take that land back and resulted in his death. So, so does that, this kind of deal with, like, the flooding of his castle and the taking of... It definitely revolves around, like, taking that... So it's one. very much like this unstoppable warrior that has land that the kingdom wants back. But they obviously change up the way the characters, like, work and all that. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, really follows, that. it follows just this random commoner who essentially got kidnapped at, when he was a young age uh-huh. to a pretty much be the shadow of this prominent figure in the government so this figure i guess got wounded in his fight with you know the powerful guy and went into hiding and the kid they stole pretty much has been 
acting the part of him for so much because uh, he looks like just like him so okay he's been training him up to be basically him to ultimately get what he wants because i know i knew that i knew that they had like that whole like you're the guy who's behind the scenes i knew they yeah. had that but I knew that they like played it a lot with like the monochrome, like black yeah, and white whole, in the, the film. The whole thing is black and white. You know, and it's got you know very much like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon type martial arts and yeah. set pieces, and it looks like the choreography and, and action looks very well done. So I really wanted to see it. Yep, I enjoyed it because yeah, it took me a moment because I was like, crap, what was the name of that? Shadow. Yeah. Though I'm scrolling through and I'm like, that looks like it's it. And then I'm watching. I was like, yep, nope, this is it. Especially once they busted out like the umbrellas. Oh, that's yeah, that's the part I'm looking forward to. I was like, okay, yep, no, this is definitely the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I I need to watch that. I just so we just watched the other day, uh, Scoob, because it came out, you know, um, digitally because mm. they can't do theater releases right now, and so we we bought it and and we watched it and it was it was good. It was really enjoyable. Like it's a fun kids family movie. It's a fun animated Scooby Doo movie. Um, the, the best part of it is, though, is you can tell it's made for people who love Hanna-Barbera mm. because of all the Easter eggs. They throw in so many, like, like, like the villain of the movie, it, it themselves is an Easter egg, but there's, like, so many things in the background. Um, like, there was a moment we're watching it, and at a certain part in the movie, on the background, you can see on the wall a poster for the Hex Girls, which is a big thing in Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. And so, like, there's just all these types of Easter eggs hidden throughout the whole movie. So it was good. We liked it. It was cute. I, I would not be upset if they made more. You know, especially because they can flesh it out now that they've kind of started this franchise. But another cool thing they did was within, like, the first ten minutes, you realize that the, the movie acknowledges that the original Where Are You Scooby-Doo show is canon in that universe. Because you get, like, the very beginning of the movie, which has an interesting ICP cameo. As kids. They're kid ICP. They, like, steal Shaggy's candy. And he's like, hey, give that back. We worked hard for that free candy. And the kids scream, Halloween is just a capitalist construction. And they throw the... And you're like, that's... That's young ICP. <laughs> well, okay. But, you know, it shows this little scene of them as kids. And then it shows them growing up as adults. But it works its way through the original cartoon singing the Where Are You Scooby-Doo song. You're like, so, Where Are You Scooby-Doo's canon here. Like, they still do it. And this mm. takes place after the original show. Alright, alright. Yeah, it was cute. I also ended up buying, because uh, it was on sale, and I still have to watch it, but I got that underwater movie with uh, Kristen Stewart. Mm. I haven't watched it yet, but supposedly it's like Alien Under the Water. That's fun. So I'm, I'm excited to see that. I might watch that uh, tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Nice. Good Memorial Day watching. Yeah. These credits. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Disclaimer now. We've watched these twice. We're not watching them for the next two DLCs. Yeah, probably fair. Because I feel like these are the exact same credits yeah maybe. in fact i feel like they're longer they I feel might like have just they... threw in the little extra for like the dlc and kept the rest the same uh which i guess should we call it should we skip it i don't know uh uh oh uh, oh uh, 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 Ooh, there's a follow-up cutscene. I was gonna say, is it gonna be him all sad, and then he's gonna see a sign that she's still alive? And they still haven't found a body. Which means she's not dead. No. Normally, you find something like a, like a finger. It's all they found of Peter Pettigrew. No. Yep. I don't know. Granted, that was by Anything's design, possible, but... but she's alive. I know. So. How's it feel to not be a dad? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward timing, but... No. No, I'm serious. Honestly, I, uh... I'm kind of relieved. Yeah, I've got a lot going on, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you do. You know, we just, we're working on this new relationship. 
I think you're gonna be an amazing dad someday. At the right time. <laughs> totally, like, not right now. At the but... right person. Is, is that me? Wait, are you, are you seeing somebody else, Peter? Oh, God. Are they gonna get hitched? Are they gonna have a baby? I guess we'll find All out. All right, yeah, we're... Bye, Felicia. Yeah, we're we're skipping the cutscenes from now on. Yeah. Ooh, the Spider UK suit. We unlocked it. Let's see what that is before we end the episode. Because those credits, I mean... Yeah, those credits were like over 10 minutes long. Yeah. No, they were definitely... I... Are extra long. Uh, I like it. All right. All right. So, uh, blanket statement for the channel going forward. If the credits take longer than 10 minutes, we're calling it. How's that sound? Does that sound fair? Probably. Because I think it's been like every single credits lately for like everything we played, minus like the small games. You like the indie games, yeah. You know, kudos to you guys making the game. Y'all did a great job. I want to show it, but 10 minutes. Their movie credits are shorter. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Please. Join us for the next time when we see if Felicia's alive, because I imagine she'll show up in the next one. And are you relieved that Peter's not a dad? Or are you looking forward to little baby, uh, Peter? Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.